when I uh, took over ECAS as a director in 2014, the organization was working predominantly on EU rights, uh, everything which is related to the concept of European citizenship. Um, a bit more also on citizen participation. So uh, therefore I thought, okay, it would be good if basically ECA starts working on something which is a bit more forward looking, maybe a bit more experimental, even risky. And this is how we have decided and set up an additional focus area to the one on your rights. Uh, which was the digital democracy focus area. We wanted to explore the potential of technology in order to enhance democracy and to foster more meaningful participation uh, of citizens in policy making in between elections. We're also looking at how do you improve the quality of democracy within the European Union through citizens' engagement whether that's the citizen initiatives that are there, but also the work that ECAS is now doing on e-democracy, um, that sort of digital engagement. All of those sorts of things are, uh, have come, I suppose, partly with that development of citizenship. And ECAS has been about developing, developing the concept and developing the tools. It's not just about the policy. It's about the how do we do this? How do we make it work? Recently, we've been working on very interesting topics such as EU crowdsourcing, which is, you know, digital democratic innovation. And, uh, and uh, it's good because we are going to, to continue working on this with, uh, with ECAS over the coming months. For us, e-democracy is important because with this new world in which uh, technology is very fast paced, we're trying to adapt um, to improve our democracy by using um, information and communication technologies and trying to take advantage of the potential of technology in order to, um, let's say, connect citizens uh, to their governments um, and especially policymakers so that they can actually co-create um, policies together or even legislations together. I would see the, the main contribution of ECAS as putting uh, its expertise uh, in this field, particularly of uh, you know, digital democracy, the democratic innovation, on the agenda of uh, the uh, EU institutions, on the EU policy uh, agenda. What we're trying to do is to explain to decision makers how they can use technology in order to improve democracy democratic processes and especially to work together with their citizens more often um, using these technologies. So we need uh, civil society actors to uh, explain, to decode uh, the uh, tools of digital democracy and make it usable, understandable and palatable to, uh, to citizens. The main thing is that we think that there is this potential for technology to improve democracy, but only when it's done in the right way. And that's what ECAS advocates for. And in the future, I think that our wish and our hope is that e-democracy is just used in a much more systematic way. So this means that it shouldn't be a one-off initiative that a politician or a mayor, a local mayor, decides to use an e-democratic uh, uh, tool but it should just be a normal way of seeing democracy. The fact that citizens are constantly called upon to give their opinions, to give their contributions, and that policy makers will work together with them in the five years that they're elected representatives. Mm -hmm.